Okay, here we are at the top of Estate Buttsburg, at a property used to be called Whispering Palms, but it's gone through a couple of owners over the last decade or so, and it's evolved into this amazing modern estate. This is an air-conditioned doghouse over here. Everything is enclosed and gated in a secure car park, carport area. You've got a two-car garage there, generator, and uh, storage room. We'll get over there in a minute, but here's how you come in the main entrance. Guest apartment in the back there we'll hit in a minute. Big stainless steel, opaque glass entry door. Leads you right into this massive foyer. These light controls, you can turn all of the lights off in the house with the click of a button here. So for a quick and easy shutdown. Obviously all central air, impact glass windows and doors. This is a folding wall here. You can operate it as a single in and out door here or the whole thing can fold back. And then you've got sliders here, fixed pane, slider, fixed slider. So this is the main living area. Integrated speakers. It's run by a control four system, so you can have it on your phone or your iPad, but as you can see, the view is fantastic from here. Christiansted, Altoona Lagoon, Buccaneer Hotel and Resort. Just a really nice setup. And then in between the kitchen and the living room is this dining area, which is really nice, very spacious. Okay. Let's go check out the bedrooms. All right, as you come down the hall, immediately to your left is first guest bedroom. Get a little alcove there for a king size bed. Built in cabinets on this side. Nice modern opaque door. And then down the hall into a full bath. built-in cabinet here for towels and such and a nice spacious shower with impact glass lights above so you get a lot of natural light in here so that's this guest bedroom and then bank a left into second guest bedroom This is set up as an office, obviously, right now, but it does have the built-ins in place. So your bed would likely go on that wall, maybe on this wall. These bedrooms seem to be about equal in size. And then the second ensuite bath, double vanity. This one has a tub. So if you got little kids or you like to soak, this would be your bedroom. Okay, that's the two guest bedrooms. Now let's shoot over to the master bedroom. Okay, right beyond these two guest bedrooms, you enter two doors, double doors into the master suite. So you can close those out and now you're in a private suite with direct access with a folding wall here also so this can fold back out to the pool patio so that's kind of cool if you're kind of just chilling on this side of the house just want a kind of a bit of a privacy effect you do have that direct access and then it's got a ceiling mounted tv for easy tv viewing let's see what that would be like be like yeah should i look at that or should i look at that depends on i guess which games if it's the new england patriots plan you're watching the tv at least I am. All right, let me kick on some lights in here. Now we're coming into the um, closet area. These are all built-ins. Little dressing set up here. You can see these bifold open, and then you've got drawers built in. So these are very well-designed setup. And then in here behind this mirror door which slides 
barn style is a um, washer dryer for the master bedroom. Additional sliding doors here for linens and towels and that sort of thing. But we continue down and to the left is one bath. This one has a urinal, the toilet, single vanity. So this would be the his. And then on this side, huge his closet with the slide to open, built-ins below, more built-ins here, lots of room in here, lots of light. And then into the bigger part of the bath is um, steam shower on this side, shower shower on that side. Let me kick on some lights here. Got a beautiful chandelier up above here. Two steps up, another tub. Big his, her shower with a rainfall shower. Ventilation window there, solid pane there. And I think this is the switch for the shower. Yeah, so there the shower lights up. Really neat pebble flooring in here. And then this side is the steam shower. So your steam will come out of that. And here's your bench seat. Steam away. And you got your TV, you got like a home theater. I don't think I've ever seen a home theater in a bathroom, but it's pretty cool. You could be kind of getting ready and catching the news. This is a safe room. Separate phone line. Special door. Could be an additional closet if you didn't want to utilize, utilize it as that, but beautiful master suite. Now let's shoot over and we'll check out the uh, kitchen area and then we'll head out to the pool. Okay, we're back to the front door where I came in. And then let me point out quickly, once you come in off to your right as you come in is a powder room. So this would be your guest bath. You know, if you're entertaining or whatnot, people coming up the pool area, pool patio, dining area, and so on. And we're back to living room, dining, and then we're gonna head into the kitchen. Got your wine cooler. Got a built-in Miele coffee maker or hot water producer. Another folding wall, another folding wall, and then into this amazing kitchen. Vented hood. Here's a look at the overall property layout. Includes this plot, this plot, this plot and this plot. So it's 57, 58, 17 and 53, I think that says. Beautiful cabinetry, this lifts up like so. Same here. Under cabinet lighting, of course. And then big drawers with lots of space for pots and pans. And then you've got a um, above counter outlet that pops up. Another big island here with a sink. A plants garage. This one has a TV in it. But tons of space for cabinetry. You get two more appliance garages on the far side to the left of the unit there. And then this is a little wine room um, slash AV room. This is where the control four equipment is, which is what controls the lighting and the music and so on. But these close off so that can be loaded with wine and out of sight. Micro oven. This looks like a warming drawer down here. And then you've got fridge here and here and then fridge and freezer drawers. So two fridges, four drawers. And then this wraps around as well, this way to both the living room and the dining room. 
So that pretty much sums up this main house. Um, let's take a look. We'll shoot you over to a caretaker cottage or another guest suite, um, the one bedroom. And then we'll shoot over to the uh, two bedroom guest house. Okay. Back out to the front door, exiting the main house. Straight across from the front door is this two car garage, which would actually make a great gym because there's another two car garage already. So unless you really have a lot of cars, this would be a great spot for a gym because that's the only sort of feature that isn't currently at the house. But that would be the perfect spot for it. And through this gate into mechanical room here, water pump, water filters, and another washer dryer. I'm gonna take a peek at it real quick. So if you did have a in-house um, person living on property in this suite, this could be the laundry for that person to utilize as opposed to going into the master bedroom. And then here we are on the east side of the house looking over Altoona Lagoon to the Buccaneer. This is an unfinished outdoor kitchen. It's plumbed and wired, so if you wanted to do a grill or make that a bar, the structure's there, it just doesn't have any of the equipment. And then into, well, a couple of owners ago was utilized as a caretaker's cottage, full-time live-in. It does have a nice little kitchen, everything but the dishwasher, and then nice sitting area, living room, and then a queen-size sleigh bed fits beautifully in this in this unit, two closets, and then a nice, beautifully finished bathroom ensuite. All right. That's everything with the main house. Now, let's take a quick stroll around the north side over to the pool and check that out area as well. Okay, we're to our left here is the kitchen where we just were. And then these are these spider arms, I call them, which are pretty much purely a architectural feature. They don't serve any other purpose that I can see, um, more or less just for style. But here's that unfinished bar kitchen area. That's dining room, and this is the living room. Let me see if we can get this little owl to wake up. Wake up, little buddy. Oh. Okay, okay, I'm not, I won't do it. I'm not, I'm gone, I'm gone. Those keep the iguanas away. If you don't have dogs on property, iguanas like to drink out of our pools here and they do their business on the pool patio. These work great to keep them at bay, keep them down the hill and away. Obviously St. Thomas, St. John, Tortola, BVI, Virgin Gorda there, Buccaneer. Looking all the way back, you got a sugar mill over here, which is really pretty. That's on a residential plot. That's Estate Buttsburg, Estate Shoys. Huge patio. I mean, you could really put a lot of nice lounge furniture out here. Got a cistern cover here. And here we are at the pool. Looking back at guest bedroom one, guest bedroom two, and then the master suite is this whole end. But you could do those shallow loungers because it's about six, eight inches deep on this first step. And then one, two, three, four, five steps into probably about chest height water. But beautiful dark blue tile. The advantage of that blue tile is it keeps the pool a little warmer than most. If it's a white bottom or a light bottom, it doesn't absorb the heat. But with the sun shining into this dark blue tile, it'll keep it at a nice comfy temperature without actually having to use the heater. And then step up to another elevated deck. This would be a great spot for an outdoor kitchen actually, or a bar, another bar, another chill area. Cause you can kind of have a little hangout here connected to the main house. That'd be pretty sweet. And then you've got this round observation deck with stainless steel cable railing. Gets you right out on top of Altoona Lagoon, looking right down into that beautiful ocean of ours. Air conditioner units. Underneath is a pool pump room under this deck. Beautiful, I think they call that a blue palm or agave palm or something like that. There's also skylights that have covers on them, as you may see up there. 
they have aluminum covers, those two skylights, which you could undo and utilize them again if you wanted. But great party house or family house. Ooh, there's a little hawk just came by. Okay, and then this connects over with this walkway to the two bedroom guest house. But before I go over there, I just want to show you this little rinse area. So if you're coming back from the beach, come in here, rinse off all your gear. And then this is actually for like the gardener, a place that he can do his business, not in the house. And then that is the steam, sh uh, the steam room unit. That's what pumps the steam at you. So obviously this is the master bath on this end. And then uh, now we'll head over and check out the two bedroom guest house. Okay, we're looking east back at the main house, the gated entrance into the main house, and then the walkway that I just walked across to come into this two bedroom, totally separate private guest house that has its own pool. Again, all impact glass everywhere. And we step inside right into the kitchen. You got a washer dryer, laundry area there, pantry, and then here into the living room, which is beautiful. Now this also has, obviously each of these are doors, so you can go in and out wherever you want. But if you were living here, you'd park down on this area. So this would be the door you'd come in and out if you're coming home and, and living in this unit. Same awesome view. And got a nice raised island here. White cabinetry, stainless appliances, bottle coolers. And then down the hall, you got your half bath, you've got a closet, and then you have the main bedroom, which is attached to the kitchen and living area. The second bedroom is on the other side of that wall, accessible from the pool patio. So on this side is the bathroom, and then on this side is a walk-in closet on this side. So. That's this main bedroom here in the guest house. Now we'll go over and check out the other bedroom. Okay, back at the front door, heading into the second bedroom. Here's the first bedroom that's attached internally. And then here is the second bedroom. Beautiful soaring vaulted beam ceilings another cistern here and then you've got another bathroom pretty much similar to the other bedroom and again walk-in closet on the other side so nice guest house very nice closes these doors are kind of solid man wow the house the property is completely perimeter fence with this custom-made metal fencing that goes all the way around the entire property and then just like the main house the guest house has its own awesome patio area sunken area there that'd be kind of a cool place to do like a fire pit or something a propane fire pit and here we are looking back at the whole compound super nice and then underneath this second bedroom, there is another toilet for gardener use and storage and a workshop. I won't bother going in there, but it's there. All right, let's go check out the rest of the main house, the garages and whatnot, and call it a day. Oh, I hear you. I'm not an iguana. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay, just left the two bedroom guest house. I'm gonna do a quick walk down the driveway. This is the gatehouse. There's someone occupying it right now, so I can't get in there, but that is a one bedroom, one bath kitchen sitting area separate um, guest cottage you've got a generator in this building brand new which powers this cottage and the um, the guest house and again here's that guest house parking with the steps up and then there's a second generator that powers just the main house but here's a look at the main entrance coming in 
So whoever's living in the gatehouse, as they call it, can park there. Whoever's staying in the two bedroom guest house would park here. And then of course you've seen the parking that's associated with the, uh, with the main house. I'll show you a couple more of the mechanical ends of it, generator, uh, the other garage, and then uh, that'll conclude. All right, here we go. Okay, so the main house has its own gate. There's another gate that gets you into the compound itself. And then of course, leading up to the property, there's another gate across the street, which there's actually three gates to get into this carport area. Off to the right is the generator room. This is a generator just for the main house. I believe it's a 30 kW Cummins diesel with a 145 gallon belly tank. I think if you can read that, I don't have my reading glasses on. I think it's a, they said it's a 30 kW. You got your exhaust going out. You got ventilation up there. These are stainless steel ventilated doors, as you can see. So this is an awesome generator room. Probably one of the nicest ones I've ever seen. I'm gonna turn the light off in here. And then next to it is a sort of a storage room workshop, which I think could be converted easily into like a wet room for scuba gear, snorkeling gear. You know, make this sort of your sandy toy room where you could rinse it off. Paddle boards and stuff like that could easily store in there. And then the other two car garage, looking across that way, that's the two car garage I thought would be a good spot for a gym. But this is a, another two car, which is really nice. One huge door. With the vaulted ceilings there, which you could actually loft that and make that a lot of storage up there. Look at those pull down, one of those pull down ladders. And then the last thing, we won't go in there, but actually I think the puppies are gone. We can take a look in here. This is an air conditioned dog house. So if you were to keep your dog in this kennel area, they could come out, totally stay enclosed in this area contained. Of course, the property is completely fenced too, but sort of their little living quarters here, where you can wash your puppies and stuff. You got a floor drain here and then a doggy door and then into a big stainless lift up door that accesses into the puppy room. There's your AC. You could set up some more bedding. You got your storage closet for your vet gear and soap and stuff like that but first time i've seen a doghouse this substantial i'd stay in this one so that's it that completes the tour of the property in estate buttsburg we're back to the front door so if you want to check it out it's coming up for sale this week let us know if you're interested we'll get you involved have a great day everybody Bye bye